How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Here today to show you what uh, Facebook looks like on the Kindle Fire. And uh, let's just jump right on in. I'm going to use my little stylus here. And we're going to go to Apps. And then you want to go, Facebook should be on your uh, app screen. Now, here's the thing. Facebook doesn't have a dedicated app for the Kindle Fire, okay? Um, it's more of like a shortcut. So when you tap on it, it just takes you like to the website. It's not, again, a dedicated app that they created for the Kindle Fire. So what you're using is more so their mobile browser. And uh, this is the same one that's on the iPhone and... Uh, on most tablet devices so uh, let's go ahead and just reload it right here and uh, there we go so this is what the app looks like um, again if you have a smartphone you're probably seeing a very similar look just like this only a little bit bigger um, so let me go over a couple of the functions uh, kinda how the app works you have your menu options up here this is a menu button we also have um, like if someone sends you a message, you would see it in this second um, icon right here. In fact, if we tap it, messages pop up. Uh, here is where we would find friend requests. And here is where we would find notifications, different things that happen with uh, friends or different people. So uh, usually if someone has sent you something new, those will be lit up. I've already checked on mine, so there's no, uh, notification, but usually you'll see like a number, a red number above these that lets you know that you have a new notification. Uh, so if we come right here, we're going to tap on this menu button, it takes you to the side, and it actually shows you, um, you know, favorites, um, it shows you groups that you're in, it shows, uh, pages that you're affiliated with, um, all different type of things. There's a couple of apps. You know, if you play games on Facebook, you can see that too. And um, in this first section, you'll see your page. So whatever your, uh, you know, Facebook page is, if you tap right there, it'll take you right there. And you get to see what mine looks like. I'm uh, Wayne Teddy Bear, my dear. And uh, so you get info, you get photos. Stuff like that. All your photo albums are connected on there. We can also um, hit that menu button and we have a search option right here. We can like search for friends. Let's see, who do I want to search for? I want to search for my buddy Chris Wong. Hilarious guy right here. Uh -oh. And uh, there we go. So right now it already starts to search for uh, all my the Chris's that I know. I'm going to come down to right here, tap on his name, and then his profile will come up. And so then, you know, I can leave him a message. If I tap right here, uh, I can write on his wall. I can see his info. I can see his photos. So it's just kind of a general, uh, just a look of what the app, what the, the site looks like. Again, it's not a dedicated app. It's just uh, their mobile browser, but uh, it still gives you access to just about everything. Now, this is pretty cool. You can actually upload photos from your Kindle Fire onto your uh, Facebook. Um, and to do that, we would come back to, we want to first be on our screen. So we're going to go here, which is the little menu button. Then we want to tap on your profile, which is the first one that's going to be up here. And then we can do a check-in, depending on where we are, we can do a status update. So I can go ahead and type in a new status. I can also add a picture. I'm going to click on that little camera right here. When I click on that, it says choose file. So I click on choose file. And now, uh, if you've uploaded any photos um, to your Kindle Fire, you can actually uh, pull them up through the gallery. And I actually have a picture in here. Uh, I know it's in this folder even though the picture's not showing up, so I just tap here and it actually is going to add this uh, Kobe picture I have that's on uh, my Kindle Fire. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, um, let's see, let's type in basketball is back. Okay. Then I'm going to hit share. And so we'll let that upload real quick. And then once that's done, Oh, there it is. So there's the picture I just uploaded. And we can tap on it to see what it looks like. So there's the picture. And then there's my caption, basketball is back. And then you can add comments. 
So, and then if you want to go back, we want to just hit the menu button up here. And I'm going to go back to my profile. And there it is. So you can upload any photos that you put on the Kindle Fire. I really wish the Kindle Fire had, had a camera on it. I know it's supposed to be just a, a reader, but maybe the Kindle Fire 2, they'll add a camera. So, you know, it's all good though. Uh, last thing, you're going to have these uh, little pluses in the corner right here, which is you should be familiar with if you've seen it on uh, the actual uh, Facebook on the website. So if we click on there, this is where you can either like uh, the post or you can add a comment as well. Okay, and I actually just liked it and it took me to her website. Oh, I liked the wrong thing. Anyway, that's fine. Um, and see, it showed up as a notification uh, up here. So if I tap here, now it'll show that I liked. Uh, oh, actually, somebody liked my picture. Oh, <laughs> pretty cool. And then if I tap on that, go back to the picture, and then it shows who liked it. Okay. So uh, this is kind of, again, the what Facebook looks like on the Kindle Fire. Um, it also will work in landscape as well, and this is pretty cool. So if you want to turn it sideways, then you do have the option to see the screen a little bit bigger. We can go to our news feed. See what everybody else is up to. And then again, here's where we would do our post. If I want to do a status up here, I can just click right there and then hit it. Or I can just scroll down and see what my friends are up to. So this is just, uh, again, Kindle Fire uh, Facebook. Uh, what it looks like. Hope that was helpful and uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, keep watching the videos. Hope they're helping. All right. Have a good one.